Hello, welcome to another SY Diagnostics video, and today we've got a Ford Edge that's got a parking brake problem. As always, we'll confirm the fault, so I've just turned the ignition off, and as you can see, the park brake is flashing. We've got a warning light on there with an exclamation mark, and park brake limited function um, warning light on the dashboard. Turn the ignition on. And again, park brake light is flashing. We've got the um, exclamation mark warning symbol there and the limited function service required for the part break warning light. So let's get some fault codes up. Let's see what we can find and let's take this job further. Okay, as you can see, there's quite a, a few fault codes in the system there. We've got one in the body control module for the start button. No issues there because it starts up. Um, steering angle sensor, battery voltage. So ABS, we've got part break actuator stuck and we've got a left motor open circuit. They're the two I'm more concerned with. So let's get the vehicle up, give it a visual inspection, and let's go a little bit further, possibly get the wiring diagram out, and uh, let's get it fixed. Okay, before we have a quick look, I've just got some live data up, as you can see. I'm in the ABS unit, and I've just put anything up I can see for the part brake. There's nothing there for the motors. So I'm just gonna put my foot on the brake press the switch so that's applying the release so we can see there that we've got a request for clamp a request for le uh, release however we're coming up with an error and at all times the part brake is saying off as I'm sat in the driver's seat I can hear the motor operating on the caliper for the right hand side uh, obviously I can't hear the left hand side so let's get it up in the air have a quick visual inspection. Okay, so we've got the wheel off. A uh, quick visual inspection of this particular harness here going right to the caliper visually looks okay can't really see any witness marks of any rubbing or corrosion or anything like that obviously it is clamped to the um, I think it's the ABS sensor wire harness there so what I'm going to do now is just going to unplug it down here at the motor unplug it here as well and have a look at the connections quick um, resistance check, continuity check of the little bit of a harness here. We have a known issue on other models and we'll take it further. Hopefully it's just going to be in this harness but it could be the motor. Okay so we've got the connector off the motor itself. Um, very difficult to see on this camera because it's only a little GoPro so I can't zoom in. However there is a little bit of green in the terminals themselves. Um, just put my screwdriver a little bit of green on the two terminal pins so what I'm going to do is just unclip the harness from the um, its fixings and check the rest of the harness probably do a quick continuity test across the motor as well because obviously we can test the other motor to see what uh, resistance values we've got so we know if the motor's okay and uh, yeah we'll check the harness and check it from there Okay, so what I've done, I've taken the harness off the vehicle and I've got it um, in my hands now, as you can see with the multimeter. I'm just going to check the continuity. So I'm in one of the pins on the caliper end and we go to that one. And as you can see, we've got 0.6 of an ohm. That's okay. Change the pins over. And there we've got 3.3 mega ohms. So we've got some resistance in this harness. What I'll do now, um, I think I'll just put on the vehicle side a H7 headlight bulb to simulate the motor. And let's see if we can erase the fault code and get some action. So all I've done here, I've got a H7 bulb and I've connected it up to the vehicle side of the harness. So I'm now gonna go into the vehicle itself 
Um, hopefully the bulb will now replicate the caliper, see if the fault code will erase, and if I operate the handbrake or the parking brake, then obviously the light should light up for the activation and the deactivation. If it does, then we know it's that little bit of harness. If it doesn't, we need to go further. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna erase the fault codes, see if any of them come back. So no fault codes have come back, however the light is still flashing so we may not have fixed the issue or may not have diagnosed the issue yet but let's see if the handbrake works. Okay so the fault codes has erased, we've still got the warning on the dashboard, um, brake light is still flashing so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reach in and I'm going to press the handbrake switch the brake pedal is pressed at the moment with a lever bar so let's just apply it as you can see there my light lights up so that's applied the handbrake hopefully or the simulated applying the handbrake that stays on goes out and then I'll cycle the ignition see if we can get it to release and that is the release so we're getting the signal there now let's see what fault codes we've got so if I just do a rescan so yeah we've got two different fault codes but um, I think what I might do, I might have a go at just bypassing the wires with some thicker wires, bypass that harness and see if we can get a fix that way. If it does fix it, then we'll order a new harness. Okay, so I've got the harness off, as you've known from earlier on, and what I've done, I've stripped all the um, sheathing back and the PVC covering, going all the way back until I find some telltale signs here of dirt. And what we've found is a break in the wire just there. Just about to see a little bit of green on there. So my 50 odd ohms uh, resistance I had was um, just a poor connection. And obviously it's broken now as I've been unraveling the sheathing. So now if I test it, obviously I've got an open circuit. So that's pretty conclusive that this little short piece of harness is the concern. So we'll get it priced up and get it ordered and let's get it fixed. Okay, so it's the next day now and we've got the new part. Just open the box up. Here is the new harness, so let's get it fitted to the car. So we've got the new harness um, fitted or routed correctly all the way down to, really can't see it there unfortunately, down to the caliper connector itself and I've cleaned up the caliper connector points because the two pins had a little bit of corrosion on them so let's put the wheel back on now and Erase the fault codes, run the basic settings of the calipers and see if we've got a fix. Okay, so at this point I realised I didn't press record on the camera. So we've got the diagnostic machine back on there, we've got the same fault codes as what we had yesterday. So I'm now just going to go and delete the fault codes, cycle the ignition off and then back on again as it tells me to do. And as we can see there, there's no fault codes have come back. Next thing I've got to do then is to go into the ABS functions and carry out the uh, apply and release calibration of the calipers. 
So we're going to go into that now. What this does, it just, as it says, it applies the calipers, releases the calibers, and uh, recalibrates the set points. So this has just been started, and it will finish successfully. Obviously, I've just edited that. It took a little bit longer than that. Uh, at this point, I wanted to show that the lights had gone out on the dashboard and that I could successfully apply and um, disengage the parking brake. And what I'm showing there is after doing that, I rescan it and there's no fault codes come back. So that's the fix. So thanks for watching, guys.